take two. Seems like I always pick the windiest days to metal detect. Uh, JP kind of uh, had a lot to do today, so I thought I would hit a uh, solo trip about uh, 45 minutes west of the uh, place I live, small town. Uh, this is the oldest house in this town. Uh, just a friend of my friend uh, knows that friend, and she said I could metal detect her house. So uh, I understand that there's an old blacksmith shop that's out back. It's no longer there, but uh, this was the uh, blacksmith's uh, house. Uh, found a button. Uh, just my second target. My first target was uh, a uh, brass key. Not too old. This looks pretty old, though. I was letting it dry out here a little bit. Got a really nice back on it. I'll uh, hopefully get a uh, maker's mark on it. I'm not quite sure the design on the front of it. Looked military at first. It's got some writing on it. I will uh, get a better picture of it. Get it cleaned up and uh, let you know what it is here in just a second. Well, the wind has not let up. Uh, dug a lot of can slaw since that, uh, uh, you know, I can't even remember what I dug up. Oh, yeah, it was that button. That button. Actually, that button was really more of a surface find. And I'm finding out why is that they, uh, they put in a sewer line to this house uh, not too long ago, maybe uh, two or three years ago. That might have been why that button was laying on the surface. Um, uh, still, still a cool button. I think I got me an old coin. I've dug some clad. I, I first saw this and I thought, well, maybe I've got silver because I've got a little bit of a silver glint to it. But then, uh, uh-oh. I think I'm seeing a shank there. Oh, hey, look at that. I see an Indian. I've dug an Indian. Ah, oh, cool. Don't know if that's semi-precious trash or uh, what I've got there. Looks more like a button. I'll get it cleaned up. Cool. I tell you what, the wind hasn't let up, so uh, it's really uncomfortable for me. I know it doesn't sound good to you, but I uh, really, really like to see this kind of thing when you turn over a plug. It's a silver dime. Don't know what it is. Oh, it's a rosy. 1940, 1940. Or is that a six? Could be a six. 1946. Gotta love the silver dimes. I'll take a rosy. Cool. Next plug coming up. Oh, the wind has not let up. I understand it's supposed to turn into a nasty, rainy mess tonight. Moved around to the back side of the house. I guess I'll give you a look at it. Um, I do not know when the house is built. Uh, I know it's supposed to be the oldest house in town. Uh, according to the lady that lives here. Uh, this was a blacksmith shop back here someplace. There's a little bit of a, a brick foundation right there. There's some more rocks right over here. Uh, this is actually the second one I've ever dug, and I think it's probably the first one I've ever dug. Uh, I've got me a silver thimble. At least it certainly looks silver. It might be aluminum, but we'll get it cleaned up, see if I can find any markings on it, but I am excited about that. First target out here in the backyard. I like that. It's really pretty. Uh, a little squished, but uh, we're on the board with uh, some good relics. Actually, I think I just found myself a little honey hole. I was sitting here taking pictures of the uh, thimble I just found. Um, looked up here in the plug and saw something sticking out, and there's a uh, an, uh, something. It's got a hook on the end of it. I don't know if that's a plant hanger. Uh, it's made of brass. So I, I was wondering why this hole was sounding so good. And uh, not only that, uh, man, I, I, I look right down here and I have a uh, silver rim. I like this. I like this a lot. I don't know what it is. It's so rosy. That come out of the clean. Let's see what we got. Here, a cat someplace. 1955. 1955 Rosie. A brass escutcheon and possibly a silver uh, thimble. All out of one hole. Uh, JP and I are hitting a new spot, taking a little road trip. <coughs> uh, not too far from downtown at this uh, little burg and uh, got permission to hunt this uh, 1900s house. 
a lot more history behind this house. Next door there's a vacant lot. There's a house there that sat there in the mid 1800s. It's no longer there. It's just now a vacant lot. I was telling JP, he's over there still messing around in this truck, that I don't think this place has ever been hit and this doesn't look like a whole lot of fill dirt around here. I thought I had a dog tag at first, but now I realize I've got an old key. And it looks like an oldie. Got some nice, uh, well, I don't know if you can see that or not. Nice patina to it, for what it is. Um, it might be modern, but it certainly looks old enough. I like it. Good start. JP has yet to hit a good target. Some siding. A nice nail. Very nice nail. Yep. I've dug a couple pull tabs and cleaning those out of here. Uh, had a really nice scratchy low, uh, low or upper 70s, uh, in, even the low 80s. Uh, come out with a uh, 1969 penny. I've got the uh, JP's Memorial Curse. I hope that's again not with the wind. Yet. Just dug that uh, 69 memorial right over there. Moved right over here. Here I've got a 1964 memorial. At least it's copper. JP just said he's got roundness, so we're gonna go over and uh, see what he's got. Can I come? Uh, can I come over and look in your hole? Yeah. We're hoping to break his memorial memorial spell. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where did he go? It wasn't very big to start with. There. Yeah. Oh, gosh. There, we go. there it is. Yeah. Well, that certainly isn't a coin, is it? No, no. Oh, it's a snap. Uh, back of a... Back of a pen. Yep. Well, all right. Brass. Most yeah. of those are. A... JP chose the uh, right side of the yard uh -huh. here along the sidewalk. I chose yeah. uh, what was left over. What was left over. <laughs> Worked my way up around the sidewalk. Now I'm starting to work my way back up towards the house here. Uh, nice signal. It was 53, which uh, I almost thought, okay, that's going to be a pull tab, some type of aluminum, but it uh, looks like I might have a war nickel here. Uh, it's come out somewhat shiny. Uh, we'll find out here in just a second. I believe 1942 is what I'm seeing. JP just brought over a nice little lock that he found. Yep, 1942. War nickel. Silver. Yay! I like that. My gosh, we haven't been here probably uh, 45 minutes at the very most. JP finally dug him a memorial over there, a uh, Centennial 76, so he's getting older. Uh, and he's just about ready to dig something else. I think, uh, since we're so close to the railroad here at this particular location, I think I might have dug my first railroad tag, uh, baggage tag here. I mean, I haven't seen it yet, but uh, it's got some numbers on it. And let me zoom in on it, see if we can get a better view of it. I will pluck it out of the hole I popped up. See what we got. Oh, I see Frisco. That's what I got, JP. Frisco 551. I'm assuming that's a luggage tag. Oh, wind, I like it. Road noise. Oh, we're getting it all here. Just dug a memorial. Then uh, next target, working my way right out here to the sidewalk strip to work around these trees. Uh, just got me another weedy, a 1910 wheat penny. I think that's the uh, date I'm seeing on there. I'll get it cleaned up, but that's I think that's what I'm seeing. All right. 1940 weedy. Yay! Yay! About time I got rid of those stinking Lincoln. Well, I don't know if you've seen it yet. Yeah, you probably just did. Uh, JP's broke his uh, zinc and curse with a weedy. Broke into the 40s, 1940s. I uh, think I might have too. At least it's old. Uh, I can. I know it's a penny. Uh, coming in at 78, 79 on the uh, AT Max small coil. I'm in coins mode. Uh, sensitivity all the way up. 
Uh, oh, yep, it's a weedy. I can tell by the back of it. Pretty dark in color. I probably won't get a date off of it, but uh, we're on the board with a weedy. We know there's a lot more here. A lot, lot more of the yard to work. Working the sidewalk. Already worked a little bit up through there. JP's still just finishing up his side over there. Uh, working around this tree, dug a quarter right over here, a uh, piece of junk there. Uh, come around to these roots, and uh, I think I've got a, uh, it's a capsule of sorts, maybe a lipstick tube, oldie. It's got some writing on it. Looking forward to trying to get a date off of it. I'm going to say an old lipstick tube. It's kind of heavy for what it is. Feels like it's brass up here. Maybe enameled brass down here. Looking forward to uh, finding out what that is. I like the fancy that I see on it. If the writing comes out clear, then uh, it's got some fancy, fancy brass on it. Made in the USA. I see that. All right. I like it. Hope you do. It's freezy. Still, we've moved to the other side of the driveway. Uh, JP, I believe, it just dug him a dime. He's got a little coin in his ear. <laughs> I thought it was an Indian head. That's the reason I bragged up. Yeah, that's just a clad dime. Darn it, I thought for sure that had the right patina for an Indian. Uh, well, it ain't silver. No, sure isn't. It, uh, 77. Uh, I can see it from here. I got pretty good eyes. I just dug a 59 memorial, which kind of threw me for a loop. I couldn't remember when they stopped making wheat pennies, and it was 1956. The winds were supposed to die down this afternoon, just about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, working this side of the uh, uh, sidewalk. JP's on the uh -huh. phone over there, uh, conducting business. Uh -huh. I uh, got a couple of wheat pennies, not wheat pennies, but memorials over this way. And uh, this is my first wheat penny on this side of the sidewalk, 1933. Was it, a, was she an honor student? I like it. Uh, Lots of traffic noise. Wind's starting to die down a little bit, which is a good thing. Uh, still working my way around this little tree. Uh, next target, 1911, wheat penny. I'm waiting for the this big is my silver. next target. I worked over here to the uh, front, uh, farthest part from the uh, house. <clears throat> There's a vacant lot next door. Uh, so I'm starting right up next to the sidewalk. Just dug a brass piece that looks like it might have come from an old car. Uh, not worth really looking at. My next target was, uh, I was thinking it was going to be digging a penny. But actually I'm digging a uh, top hat. That's going to look nice cleaned up. That looks like it might be from the old Monopoly uh, game. That's one of the... Uh, it's really heavy duty, so it's probably from one of the original games. Top of the afternoon to you. Coming in at 87, 89. I thought I thought for sure I'd probably be digging like maybe a clad quarter. But that's just a worm. Um, I'm not sure what I've got. I just now stuck the shovel in and pushed all this up here, and this is the way this looks. I don't know what that is. Um, it looks like it's got a little bit of a silver edge to it. I'm kind of hoping it is. Let's just see what it is. Well, I'm going to say right now, I don't think it's a... Uh, I don't know what that is. I don't rightly know. I don't know. Looks like maybe a cowboy hat. Looks like it might have some writing on it. I'm going to clean this up and then... Uh, Try to get you a better picture. Could be something that's been shot with a pistol or something. We'll find out here in just a minute. It's got some hate weight to it. Oh, hey, look. I think I've seen a face right there. There's the nose. Uh, we'll get this cleaned up and we'll get a picture of it. I'm kind of excited about this. This could be silver. I was just showing JP that what I've got. Uh, I just cleaned it off. I'm going to zoom in on this. What's really cool about this is that you can see the face on it turn it over if you would you can see it's been punched through on the back I thought when this is kind of what I saw at first I thought well maybe it's been shot but uh, it was coming in like a, a, a good good quarter I thought it was digging a quarter Look but that, that. Actual, that actually is a uh, 
That is an 1892 Barber half with uh, a faced pushed through on the front of it. 3D. I had never seen nothing Three like it. 3D dimensional. That is so cool. Can, let me zoom out on that so I can kind of get a... Is that not cool? That's awesome. That's also my first Barber half. <laughs> <laughs> oh, way to go, bud. Yeah, yeah, I'm liking that. I'm liking that a lot. That's, uh, Man. Uh, on the very back, you can see uh, United States of America on the back. I'm going to get it cleaned up, and you'll see a better picture of it tonight. But uh, You're going to have to build a special little display to hold that up. Out. Yeah, that's, uh, that is certainly that is something. That is cool. That is pretty neat. Way to go, bud. Thank, thank you very much. That's got to be one of the neatest daggum things I've ever seen. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that before. Cool. Better picture coming up. That is so cool. Getting close to uh, quitting time. JP's gone over to work the uh, clothesline, hoping he can uh, find him some silver today. We knew there was some Civil War activity in the area. It looks like I might have found part of a shard. Looks like there's three rings right there. It's just a small piece of lead, but it's about four inches down. Glad to have it. Well, you can see the shadows are getting kind of long. Doing our dirty blue towel wrap up. Uh, let's start with JP. Big hunk of lead, one key, similar to mine, very old style, uh, a bracelet pieces, not quite sure what it went to, could have been a watch, uh, wheat penny, broke the zinc and spell, good that's to right. you bud. Uh, and a Canadian. A lock, oh that's right, a Canadian, a Canadian penny, two dimes, uh, an old lock, and this uh, really, something really cool, I'll, that'll be nice cleaned up. Cleaned up. It's uh, late teens. There's a star right here. Uh, it says something about the. It's a shoe. It's a shoe company. Advertisement. Yeah, yeah it's advertisement. marketing for. Uh, right. It's for a shoe company. I like that a lot. That's that's cool. There's another star on this side. My side. Uh, let's start at the bottom. Uh, sinker, three keys, uh, really cool old uh, brass lipstick case. It does say uh, kiss, uh, kiss proof. Brass knob. This is all my zinc pennies. This is my copper pennies. Twenty cents, uh, two quarters, uh, five wheats, one uh, silver, forty-two nickel. Uh, Monopoly hat piece. First ever Frisco baggage tag, 551. I don't know if it says anything on the back, probably not. Uh, and my find of the day, and I'm still looking forward to getting this cleaned up a little bit. It kind of looks like it's been in the fire, but I'm not sure. Um, it's a uh, Barber Half, 1902, I believe. Uh, I still haven't got that cleaned up well enough. It could be in 1892. Uh, that's the back side of it. That's kind of, the coolest thing ever. Kind of looks like uh, Liberty just turned its head and looked looking right at you. I'm get the get the shadow in there. It's definitely 3D. There's a side view of it. I like that. I like it all. We have permission to come back, so you'll probably yes, see do. another video at this place. Yes, there's more. There's definitely uh, more here. What should we call this place? Uh, how about the. Uh, Monopoly hat place. Monopoly. Yeah. Yeah. Park place. Park place. I like that. All right. Thanks for joining us. Like and subscribe.